So I grew up eating meat pies. They served them at school, they served them at home, they served them at the chip shop. Everywhere you go, there's meat pies. And I'm, I'm surprised that Americans haven't embraced this because this could be like the greatest thing on earth. American beef in a pie, American lamb, American pork in pies. That's what we should be heading towards. The meat pie dates back to the Egyptian times. The Egyptians gave it to the Greeks, the Greeks gave it to the Romans, the Romans took it up to Northern Europe and the pilgrims brought them over. And up until the 19th century, they, was, they were popular in certain circles, but it really died out. I am here to try to bring the meat pie back to the States. Anne just cooks them in the back, she's gonna bring them out, we're gonna dissect them, we're gonna talk about them, and most importantly, we're gonna eat them. Oh my word, that looks spectacular. When we think of meat pies, we think of chicken pot pie, which, you know, chicken pot pie is great, but that's not what I want to eat. No, like, and, that's and listen, what I want to eat. We have a similar <laughs> vision of chicken as like a delicious vegetable. It's a delicious vegetable. Right. It's great fried. Yeah, exactly. Um, so tell me what we have inside of these pies. Right, so we've got two pies. Um, this is a pie that I do every fall, and it's a game pie. So it's smoked uh, duck confit, wild boar, and lamb. And then this pie, I think you're really gonna love. This is actually a 20 day dry age short rib pie with rabbit and veal kidney. Amazing, so a steak and kidney pie. Steak literally. and kidney Which pie, is, literally. Steak and kidney pie is the, the pie that really defines the British pie making at this point. You grew up in Seattle? I did. Where's your family from? Well, my father is born and raised in Seattle, and my mother is from Taipei, but she spent the majority of her life going back and forth between Taipei and Oxford. Okay, so that is where you were exposed to a meat pie. Yeah. Right? Tell me about this crust, because it, it, I don't think Americans are used to the, what you're doing with the crust, right? It's sort of a unique right. thing, at least in this country. Right, so the thing that I love about these pies is there's actually no butter at all in it. We replaced butter with beef fat. Some of the best fish and chips in England are fried in beef fat. That I didn't very, know. Yeah, fantastic. Traditionally, yeah. that's always how it's been. It's so crisp, you can just hear that. Mm. Wow, you're, you're so right about those sort of levels of flavor. Yeah. They're all very rich in mouthfeel, but right. they're so very different in their, you know, in their other vacations. Just right. Delicious stuff. Thank you. We have to get into the steak and kidney pie. Mm -hmm. That is something that I look forward to every time I go back to England, so to have it here would be amazing. Let's get in there right. and see what this looks like. And I, I, lo I have to say, I love the touch of the, uh, the bones sticking out. Yeah, well, you know, what I really love to do with this pie when I eat it is to actually take some of the marrow and throw it into the pie mix. Nice, thank you. And mix it around. I think it gives it even more richness. You know, I'm surprised that Americans haven't gravitated towards it. Maybe now they will after we mm. show them what it's all about. Well, I, I hope they do. Now that is sensational. Is it like home? It's better than home. <laughs> okay, I won't tell anyone. Cheers. Cheers. If you like that, be sure to click down below and watch the next one. Becoming a regular in the steakhouse is just about practice. The more you do it, the better you get at it.